Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, I have an absolutely excellent quality of life enhancement feature on top of bug fix mod for the older Kingdom Hearts games, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and Birth by Sleep. Created by Topaz TK, as well as a bunch of other people, this mod aims to add in a bunch of quality of life enhancement features into these games, and honestly, these are features that, real talk, I think should have been in these Kingdom Hearts games from the very get-go, since the release of the HD remixes back on PlayStation 3. There's also a few bug fixes in here, but all in all, this is a really good mod. It honestly does improve the Kingdom Hearts experience for these three Kingdom Hearts games, and uh, anyone that is playing these games on PC, this is hands down a mod that you absolutely should have installed. Even if you're not into Kingdom Hearts modding, this will improve your experience for these three games. Kingdom Hearts Refix currently applies to Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2. In regards to Chain of Memories and Dream Drop Distance, they aren't supported, but I'm assuming from what I'm reading over on the information page, eventually in due time, uh, these games will also receive some sort of new features or fixes too so that's good to know the cool thing about this mod as well is once you have it installed which is basically just replacing your current kingdom hearts game exe in the game directory with a modified one uh, there is a self updater installed into it so auto updates will be applied as the kingdom hearts refix does receive new features as time goes by so yes this mod will continue to be supported so first of all let's talk about the features that have been applied to all three of these Kingdom Hearts games and then we'll focus on the individual features for these specific ones. First things first, the cutscene frame limiter has been unlocked, meaning that the cutscenes throughout all three of these Kingdom Hearts games are no longer stuck at 30 frames per second, which honestly speaking has been a pretty jarring thing ever since receiving the HD remixes on PlayStation 4, finally getting the 60 frame per second gameplay, but then whenever we would jump into a cutscene, the frame rate would lock at 30 frames per second, uh, making for quite a jarring experience. I don't know why Square Enix decided to lock the cutscenes at 30, probably because the cutscenes were only ever intended to run at 30, and I will say that uh, specifically if it is a cutscene where there is text popping up, uh, the cutscene is obviously playing a little bit faster due to rolling out at a higher frame rate, meaning that you won't have as much time to re-text on the screen. Again, it's because these cutscenes were never designed in mind to run anything higher than uh, 30 frames per second. But, watching these older Kingdom Hearts game cutscenes running at uh, beyond 30 frames, 60 frames, looks so good, it looks so smooth, and this is one cool thing to see with Kingdom Hearts 3, you don't need a mod for this. If you're running KH3 on PC, uh, the cutscenes do play at 60 frames, and it looks so good. Finally, you can mute all sorts of different audio channels when the audio channel option is set to 1. Uh, previously, which is a really weird thing, if you were to set any of the audio channels on any of the Kingdom Hearts games to 1, Sure, it would almost be muted, but it wouldn't entirely mute any of the music or sound effects or voice effects. So now when you set it to one, everything is completely muted. I think this really should have been something that was introduced from the get-go in uh, normal HD Remix on PS3, and even when we now see this finally integrated into the PC version, it still didn't work properly, so Refixed is going to fix this. This is especially helpful and useful for when it comes to video editing. Let's say you just want all of the uh, battle quotes and sound effects, but you don't want the background music, you can now have that completely muted. It's over! Take this! Auto-saving has been incorporated into all three games. Absolutely fantastic. This means that when you're jumping from world to world, there will be an autosave applied to save slot 99. While crashing isn't as prominent in the HD Remix games now due to an update that was applied last year, uh, it can still happen from time to time, so it's always good to know that autosave has your back. You can now soft reset the game by holding down R1, L1, start and select. This is especially useful for if there is anything RNG related that you're trying to do in a game, so for example, birth by sleep melding and you don't get the commands that you wanted, you can simply just soft reset, 
reload up your save file and quickly go back into the game, uh, saving you a lot of time. Or of course, if you end up soft locking the game, this is especially useful. The MP bar will no longer show up in the heads up display until you acquire your first magic in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Uh, this is kind of cool, just a little attention to detail type thing, but I guess it didn't really make too much sense to have the MP bar up on the heads up display until you got your magic, as it wasn't used until you got your first magic, so yeah. For KH1 and 2, uh, no MP bar until you acquire that first magic, being either Fire in Kingdom Hearts 1 or Blizzard in Kingdom Hearts 2. So moving on over to the specific new features that are applied to specific Kingdom Hearts games, starting off with Kingdom Hearts 1, bless this, you can now finally open chests and examine things while in combat. You guys know it, it is absolutely so aggravating the fact that you have to kill all of the enemies in the area before you're able to open a chest. Literally any other Kingdom Hearts game, um, they incorporated the feature that, yeah, you can finally open chests while in combat, so it's really annoying going back to Kingdom Hearts 1 thinking you can do that, finding out, okay, I've got to kill everything. Super annoying. I absolutely love this. There is a new option in the options menu where you can change the field of view. There is classic and then there is enhance, changing it to a field of view more in line with Kingdom Hearts 2's, where the camera has backed away from Sora. Yeah, this is one thing that is immediately apparent with Kingdom Hearts 1 is the field of view is so different compared to any other Kingdom Hearts game. Birth by Sleep kind of has a bit of a similar field of view going on and there are mods out there to even change BBSs. Uh, but uh, yeah, Refix will allow you to change the FOV. I absolutely love this and I really do think this should have been at least an option, not a permanent change with the HD Remix, but just at least give uh, you know, the players the option to change the FOV as so many of us became so used to the FOV in Kingdom Hearts 2. It looks so good and to get more of your surroundings uh, in the actual camera view is super helpful, especially for an action RPG where quite often you are surrounded by mobs of enemies. Honestly speaking, just like the chest change, uh, this is another feature that makes this mod so worth it. It really gives a brand new, fresh experience to Kingdom Hearts 1, being able to take in more of your surroundings and the world itself uh, into account. It really changes that feeling of Kingdom Hearts 1. We have previously talked about an FOV change through uh, another mod way back in the day with a mod known as Kingdom Hearts Critical Mix that actually incorporated an FOV change. That mod in itself was also a complete overhaul to Kingdom Hearts 1, so if you're just looking for the FOV fix right here to change it to more in line with Kingdom Hearts 2's, then definitely grab Refix. Just like in Kingdom Hearts 2 that first introduced it, you can now toggle abilities on or off by simply pressing triangle in the ability menu. This saves a lot of time. And finally, going back to the title screen from in-game within the save menu will no longer crash the game. Personally, I haven't really come across this crash all too often, maybe about a couple of times, but it's good to know there is a fix for that uh, within this mod. I will say too, the time it takes to go from in-game back to the title screen if you just want to, you know, reload a different save is so much quicker, so that's really handy. Moving on over to Kingdom Hearts 2, you can now finally skip the Roxas tutorial segment. Yeah, this really should have been something that they introduced into the HD D remix version back when it released on PlayStation 3. Nothing against the Roxas tutorial segment, but like for someone that plays Kingdom Hearts 2 avidly, uh, over the course of time, you've experienced that Roxas segment so many times, and whenever you want to start a new game, you really just want to skip straight to the Sora experience, the core of the game. Now, uh, if you do decide to do this, don't worry, you will be chucked into Roxas' segment briefly to choose what weapon you want to select for the build of Sora later on in the game, so that still happens. Once you've done that, you'll pretty much just be chucked straight into the shoes of Sora super handy and saves a lot of time. Limit Form's limit abilities have been given the correct translation. So uh, for some weird reason, Square Enix decided to rename the limit abilities for the English version of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix to something different. Sonic Blade was changed to Sonic Rave. Iris Arcanum was changed to Last Arcanum. Strike Raid wasn't changed, but Ragnarok was changed to Infinity. So this will change back those ability names to their correct names. Changing the command menu back to the original Kingdom Hearts 1 version will change it to something that resembles more of the classic KH1 
one command menu. It looked slightly different in Kingdom Hearts 2 and this sees to uh, sort of restore that back to that original look with the original icons. A very nice touch. In Kingdom Hearts 3, Square Enix introduced the ability to be able to reorganize the order of your magic within the magic menu in the command menu and this mod sees to introduce that feature into Kingdom Hearts 2 by simply going down to the magic menu in the command menu, holding down L2 and then using the directional pad over the desired magic you want to reorganize. This is super handy for if you want, let's say, reflect at the top of the magic menu. That means you can essentially just scroll down to magic, press XX, and then boom, that's reflect. Something that, again, really should have been incorporated into the remix version as a quality of life improvement. Retry has now been added into Kingdom Hearts 2. First introduced in Birth by Sleep, the option allowed you to instantly retry the combat scenario you're currently in, rather than pressing continue that would send you back into the room before you engage that combat scenario. This is another thing that really should have been here for the HD Remix version. And finally, for Kingdom Hearts 2 at least, you can now finally retry by just simply pressing left or right on the D-pad over continue, you'll now get that retry option, saving you again a lot of time. This mod adds in dual audio capabilities, meaning that you can now switch between the English and Japanese version of the game. If you're someone that wants to have all of the Japanese voice lines in your version of Kingdom Hearts 2, which is also applied for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep as well, this might be something that'll eventually come to Kingdom Hearts 1, you can now finally do that. This was something that a lot of people were hoping for when we heard about the PlayStation 4 re-release of the HD remixes, but still unfortunately, it didn't end up happening. Once you have selected Japanese voices in the options menu, simply reload the world and voila, Sora is now speaking Japanese. It's absolutely fantastic. And lastly, I think this is a really nice touch, but depending on what the current date is on your computer, if it is during a holiday season for either Halloween or Christmas, Sora, Donald, and Goofy will change into their respective holiday outfits to, of course, celebrate. So as an example, if your computer's date is set to October 31st, from October 31st to November 2nd, uh, the gang will be in their Halloween attire. Uh, if the date is set to December 24th and through to January 1st, they'll be in their Christmas attire. Something that totally doesn't need to be here, but I just love the little attention to detail. And finally, Birth by Sleep. There isn't as many specific Birth by Sleep features that have been added. There are a couple here, so it's worth mentioning. First things first, when you're in-game and talking to a person, uh, usually the frame rate would then jump back down to 30 frames per second. Again, similar to the whole cutscene thing, it can be a little jarring going from gameplay 60 to this weird cutscene 30. So now with an in-game speech bubble uh, situations, yeah, the game will run at 60 frames per second, which is really nice. And another new thing that was added, I guess, back into the game, weirdly enough, for the Xbox and PC version of uh, BBS, the ability to be able to rename your finishes was removed from the game. So this is added back in. You can currently do this on the original PSP version or, of course, any PlayStation version of Birth by Sleep. But yeah, it was removed, so you can now finally rename your finishes again. So that right there, guys, is Kingdom Hearts Refixed. Honestly, what is currently right now the best overhaul improvement feature mod for those three Kingdom Hearts games? Uh, as I said, if you are playing the older Kingdom Hearts games on PC, this is an absolute no-brainer. You need it installed. It's fairly straightforward to download. All of the instructions are going to be in the link I'll leave down below on top of the actual download itself. And the full change list is over on that site as well. I didn't list absolutely everything in terms of these smaller details, but they'll be there on the change list uh, in that link. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Do be sure to let me know what you guys think. A massive shout out to Topaz TK and his team. They have done God's work here. Out, guys, I'm Cynical. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.